device was powering up showing the lights and switches and everything and direct signal was passing by it's three outputs direct delay and uh, delay direct delay and mix so uh, mix and direct find no delay no delay in the mix so I checked the voltages and I traced basically the problem to the voltage regulators because it's uh, weird uh, readings on the 7, 8, 15 it was 7.6 volts on the output plus and on the negative 7, 9, 15 was minus 22 so and if you measure the voltage across the pin 1 and 8 on the chips 4558 or TLO72 it shows 30 volts so it's normal plus minus 15 so I thought maybe it's a ground issue or something but then I realized that the resistance from the positive output of 7815 to the ground was 215 ohm and I traced it to the chip itself so I'm gonna change both chips 7815 and 7915 I already put 7815 and now I'm gonna change 7915 too and see what happens. Right. And make sure that there is no contact with the tab with the sink. This is the screw and this is the tab, which is the input of 7915. Checks okay.
Right here. All right, the board is back. And now, I'll just remove the switch here and the LED. The moment of truth, I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. Okay, it's plugged in. Lights are on. No smoke coming out. Okay, let's measure the voltages. Okay, this is my ground. Let's see the negative. Minus 15. Excellent. Positive. 15. So it's all done now. Beautifully. Let's see here. Pin 8, 15. Pin 1, minus 15. Excellent. Same with LM311. Let's see. Pin 8, 15. Pin 1, minus 15. Okay, I'm ready to plug it in. Let's do it. This is the output. Let's see. Mix. Let's do mix. That's my input. sound is coming. No delay. No delay still. Wow. So, might be some chips are damaged. Let me see the behavior of the LM311. Connect the scope now. Yeah, looks like a lamp three eleven. Doesn't pass the signal. So, most likely it's damaged. Because the rest of the chips seem fine. Hmm. Okay. troubleshooting I finally came up with the end result which was the LM311 chip was burned or half burned it didn't work anyway so I just received the new chip from DigiKey and installed it in the socket and also this uh, Panasonic AN 6887 uh, It's a LED drive chip. I don't know. It's not focusing here Anyway All right um, This LED driver chip Also burned it doesn't do anything for front panel LEDs. So I made a little contraption here you can see it's based on 3914 LED driver from National Semiconductor. So it's a little board and I just made it pluggable into the socket of the Panasonic chip. 
So, and this is the threshold adjustment for clipping, the last red LED, and uh, everything seems to work fine. So when I crank the volume, we can hear the output. And uh, this is direct, and this is delay. starts distorting, I go be below distorted, and now my delay, so if I change the delay time, it works perfectly, and this is my modulation depth and speed, and this is my feedback, so if I crank the feedback, I can disconnect the source and it's feedback in forever. In the middle, the end point is zero. So far, so good. All uh, power supply heats in get getting hot a little bit. Maybe the power consumption is a little bit too much for these um, regulator chips. Maybe that's what caused the burnout in the first place, but I don't know. It's within the limits. So I hope everything's gonna work fine. I'm gonna clean up this area, put it in the shrink tubing, and try to put everything together and do the final test with the guitar and see how it sounds. Cheers. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> This is direct sound, dry, dry output, delay is on zero, and it goes both ways, minus 10 and plus 10, let's see. Crank it up to plus side. It's a phase issue here. Anyway, let's see what else we can do. Oh, it has a nice high cut switch. If I cut the highs, it goes like this. It's more like analog. Drop my P. 
speak, sorry. Excellent. Switch delay time. Oh. Here we go. Hold, hold function. It's accessible by a foot switch. So, with the hold, I can do something like this, I guess. switches and it works very nice feedback let's see okay it's a high cut let's do without high cut Thank you. 
success story. I thought it was impossible because no schematics, nothing, no information on the net. But um, basically, it's uh, old school digital delay uh, with uh, using DRAM chips, and it's really nice and quiet, by the way. <laughs> That's it. Cheers.